Hello and welcome to 5 Minutes in the Shed. Uh, as I started recording, a load of messages pop up on my screen. It's a bit weird. Anyway, uh, episode 2 of Triumph Tiger 90 engine rebuild. All right, so uh, I'm in the shed. Uh, the bike is under wraps over there uh, because there's nothing in it. There's no engine in it. The engine is now here on the bench. Uh, so I've got um, I've got stuff uh, sorted out in bits there. Uh, I've got my tools ready. I've got the camera tripod ready, and I've got an engine ready. So. Um, I think it's only going to be a short episode, but I wanted to get in the shed tonight and uh, take some of the covers off, and especially I want to take the barrels off and check the condition of the bores and the pistons and the rings. So that's what we're going to do: start tearing the engine down. <laughs> Okay, so this is bad, right? So I haven't even took the cylinders off yet and it's already bad, right? So um, you may remember if you've watched the last video that I said that when I drained the oil, uh, some water came out with it. Well, uh, not much oil came out, but a lot of water came out. And uh, I think I've just discovered um, the, the uh, water and the oil, which isn't, isn't good. So, um, I found a very big job lot of mayonnaise inside it and uh, I took the cover off and it's all started sliming out. I don't know if you can see it very well. Let me turn the engine around a little bit there. Bring it a bit closer maybe. If you can see that. It's, uh, it's minging. And if I bring this up, you'll probably be able to see that on the camera. There's just a load of uh, mayonnaise in the bottom of there to the point where uh, the selector sh uh, the selector thing there has gone rusty. I mean, it's bad. It's bad. Uh, it's serious neglect. Uh, whoever owns this bike, I should really have a word of them. Um, so, yeah, that's bad. The other thing I found, weirdly, is this is the kickstart turn spring, right? Um, or some of it. Uh, there's some more of it here, there, and there's some more of it there as well. Now this is the bit that sits, this sits on the end of the shaft, and that's what the spring clicks into there, uh, which pushes the kickstart back up. Kickstart was working a treat, and, and I haven't broken this taking it off, so it must have been broken, but still working, which is strange. Again, bit of rust on there, oh, especially the other side which is horrible. Um, spacer looks okay. But yeah, so I need a new kickstart return spring. Uh, unexpected, but needed. Um, <clears throat> I pulled the clutch rod out. It's rusty on the end where it goes into the uh, actuator there. Uh, this isn't the three ball type. It's the uh, it's the old screw one, uh, the earlier type. Um, so yeah, I need to get all that cleaned out. I'm going to have to take all the gearbox apart. I reckon I might have rusty gears in there. Not good at all. So, uh, bad news from the get-go on that. So I'm going to put that to one side and cry about it later. Um, I took the uh, oil pipes off just to get them out of the way. Uh, and I got them covered in slimy uh, mayonnaise as well. So uh, move those out of the way. Um, yeah, not good at all. Right. Uh, on to the next few covers. That was all going to come off and it was going to be lovely and it was going to be fantastic. Then I realized I haven't got my special tool to pull that off the taper. Um, so 
uh, what am I going to do? I can't take this cover off unless you can take that. I've started the advanced retire plate. It's, but it's electronic ignition in this one, so it's just a magnet plate. That's all it is. Uh, but it's got to come out. And it's very difficult to get pullers in there because it's kind of tight in there. The Triumph do a special tool for it. And it's, um, if I remember rightly, it's 5 sixteenths UNF, which is 24 turns per inch, I think. So... Uh, <clears throat> I haven't got the tool. I haven't got a bolt long enough to use as a slide hammer. However, what I have got here is a uh, 5 16 UNF die. All right? And I've also got a die holder, which is uh, which has the clearance down the middle of uh, enough to clear an 8mm bolt. And 5 16 UNF is about 7 point nine ish mil roughly I think um, so if I put that die in that there die holder like that and then I get a bit of 7.9 millimeter diameter steel rod all right a bit like this eight millimeter diameter steel rod here I can put a thread on one end uh, actually, I could put a thread on both ends, yeah, uh, and I can screw it in there, and I can turn it into a slide hammer and knock it out. Luckily, I seem to have the bits and the materials and a lathe to make such a special tool, so I don't have to spend like five quid on eBay or whatever it is, or borrow one. Uh, so, I think we're going to go over to the lathe and make a special tool. How exciting is that? bringing you in for a super close-up uh, lathe um, special tool making close-up cam so in there we've got a oh, it's not very good camera angle light 5 16 UNF tap um, die in there 24 tunes per inch 60 degree pitch there we've got a bit of M8 turned down to 7.9 with the thread put on the end of it. That's going to go in the advanced read of where the points, the magnetic plate in the engine. Now I need something the other end to stop something heavy to make a slide hammer. Uh, but I don't have any 5 16 UNF nuts. So what I'm going to do is over here, here. Here I've got uh, an M6 one mil pitch uh, metric modern die. The camera's not focusing at all. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the die, put that in there, turn the other end down to six mil because I've got some M6 nuts. Everyone's got M6 nuts, right? It's M6 spanners we lose. So, oh, camera focus terrible. There, M6 die. So I'm going to change that, put that one in there turn this round, turn it down to M6, run that on it so I can put a nut on the end. Then we'll have a special tool. Brilliant. So we've got a special tool. So we've got the uh, 5 16 thread there, UNF, U UNF, U yeah, UNF, and we've got M6 there. So the M6 side, I'm going to put a washer on it with a, an M6 nut. I hope it fits. Mm, mostly. Um, and we're going to screw that end 
into the yes it fits look at that look at that i'm a special tool master got a lathe make anything i don't know how i cope without a lathe i don't know how anyone works without a lathe don't know how it happens right so that's in nice plenty of thread in there now i just need to slide hammer that off right so need something heavy on there like a special slide hammer socket put that on there and that goes on there I need a 10 mil spanner 10 mil spanner on an imperial engine it's disgusting Ooh, that's spinning the wrong way yeah that's tight enough right slide hammer washer that should pop straight off or I might need to put the M6 nut on a bit tighter damn it just broke the <laughs> on a thread oh. uh, M6 M6 quarter M10 M5 Everyone's got an M6 nut somewhere. Give me a second, I'll be back. Okay, quick break and I'm back. Right now, oh man, serious lack of M6 nuts in this world. So there's an M6 nut. It's a nylock one. Um, stainless steel nylock one. Because I have my nice box of nuts. Uh, right, so what I want is, and I found, also found, a big repair washer. So I'm going to put those two washers on there like that and then I'm going to put this nylock nut on here one that isn't stripped oh, it feels bad it feels bad on the thread uh, I'm going to hold it and I'm going to get my M6 ratchet spanner oh there it is, oh, it's on that oh no it's not on this is bad come on why won't you go on? Hang on. One second. Didn't do a very good job of threading this, folks. Here's my die. No, it's got nasty when I, when I didn't get it on enough from that stripped nut that I found. Give me one second. Right then, much cleaner end. cleaner end thought it was a cleaner end is it a cleaner end let's have a look oh, that's tight that is not a very good die it is screwing on though so that's on now there so I want some washers as an end stop. Slip them. Ah, oh, they don't slip over that end because they're not. Uh, right. Okay. One washer on the end. Screw that one in the engine. <laughs> With something heavy on it first. There we go. Are we in? Are we in? Right, now let me check the camera angle. Uh, you can almost see. Let me just turn it around a little bit. There. Does that look a bit better? Right, so you can see. 5 sixteenths into the engine. M6 with a washer at the end. Slide hammer. Made. Made it on my lathe. Ready? 
and there it is there's the magnet plate finally it was on that taper that's a good fit it's a good fit on that taper so special tool I'll keep that in my drawer for special tools that I don't know what they're for anymore there we go all right that goes with the points over there so now this is done now I can take this cover off and uh, and get in there lovely job okay you can either watch me for five minutes taking the cover off or or I can cue some music over I stopped it at the point of truth give it a slight knock with my favorite hammer and it's loose so I'm gonna take it off now and a load of oil is gonna come out Ooh, it's a bit black in there a bit black and dirty uh, thought I'd show you this real time so there we are inside of the engine there's the oil pump that looks a bit black because like everything looks a bit black um, Teeth don't feel chewed though. Looks okay. Is that gritty? Very slightly. Very slightly gritty. Okay, so uh, not too bad. I reckon I might have got away with saving all that. That's nice. So, there we go. Um, right, so as always, five minutes in the shed turns into like hours. Um, way longer than I thought because I had to make a special tool. Uh, I wanted to get all the covers off and the barrels off tonight, but it's getting late. So, uh, I think I'm going to uh, cut it at this point. Uh, I also realised that my uh, pinion extractors are at my dad's house, I think. And I want to borrow his uh, uh, valve compressor as well to get the valves out the head. So, can't take those off yet anyway. Uh, but it's nice to see inside, nice to see if there's anything catastrophic, and there isn't. Um, so yeah, all good. Um, so, I'm going to call it a night, get tidied up a little bit, and uh, I shall see you on the next episode where we'll take the clutch off, generator off, barrels off, and see how bad the... Uh, how bad the damage is. Thank you for watching. It's been a pleasure. Uh, thank you for watching me make a fantastic special tool. Uh, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Thank you.